What is up my babies? Welcome back to the channel. So if you can tell from the title, we're going on a leg day adventure today. Gonna be taking you guys to the gym with me, sharing with you some of my favorite leg day exercises. And if you guys follow me on Instagram and have seen my stories where I occasionally will share my lower back pain, my scoliosis that I have, that's just kind of messes up my lower body game a little bit. I can't do what a lot of Instagram influencers do. Like I have to modify the shiz out of my workout. So thought I would also share that with you because I have a lot of gals writing back talking about their stories, their scoliosis and lower back pain. I thought it would be helpful to kind of share with you how I like to modify to kind of save me from feeling some crazy extensive pain that comes occasionally with working out, especially lower body. So I'm gonna be sprinkling in some of those modifications for you, but overall just sharing with you my like staple favorite workouts that I like to do at the gym to work and tone out that lower body because summer's around that corner, we gotta get at it. But first, before we get into this video, I totally have to thank today's sponsor, Just CBD. You already know Just CBD has my heart. In fact, like let me share with you guys what I got going on in my cabinet. You already know, just like I have a cabinet for my supplements, I also have it for my freaking CBD. Are you kidding me? My favorite is their sugar-free gummy bears. I live by them. I also love their night bears. These got melatonin in them and really help me just to kind of knock me off and get a good night's sleep. I also have their energizing vitamins, massage oil, heat relief. They just rolled out with this. I can't wait to use it. This is their aloe body lotion because I do plan on getting some sun this summer. I don't know about you. And you can't forget about their vegan gummies, okay? They are freaking delicious. I am not vegan, but they are amazing. I've been really digging these a lot. They have a really nice texture to it. So definitely check them out. I'll leave my link down below, code Ashley for 20% off. All right, it's time to go get this workout in. I'm drinking some antioxidant force juice, bay. With his kimono. They just went on a kimono spree. Check it out. You're not really gonna wear that, are you? Oh, I'm gonna wear it every day. With your Gymshark like that. He's crazy, he's crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna be drinking some of this antioxidant juice because I need to get this in. Over the summertime, I need my antioxidants. I need to feel myself. Smart juice is mad good, 100% juice. Tastes all right, but you know what? It's healthy, so. Really taste that prune juice in there. Mm. All right. All right, guys, we are going to head over to the gym and we will see you there. Oh. <laughs> and we're here. We're here, baby. So guys, this is really the first actual kind of sneak peek of our gym. It's half done. Really excited. We got Smith machine, some dumbbells. It's a work in progress. <laughs> Ashley doesn't like to work out with the lights on <laughs> for whatever reason. I like natural light. Please don't film me while I'm eating a banana. Please don't do that. Oh, uh, this is actually for my own use. All right, guys, so let's hop into this leg workout. First thing I like to do is warm up this lower body so that you don't pull a muscle. Been there, done that. And it's not freaking fun, so we're gonna just warm up right now. Let's go. All right, so we're getting warmed up now. My heart rate's going up. So yeah, I like to spend about 10 minutes warming up, doing mobility training, lots of glute band work. Usually I like to do a few minutes on the treadmill, but ours didn't come in yet. So it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of the video, if you know what I mean. Compound movements can literally be a girl's best friend or worst enemy. I, for me, it's bittersweet. I really love compound movements. Like squatting is great because I see a lot of progress when I squat. I see a huge difference in my lower body altogether as a whole, but it's also kind of my worst enemy because with my scoliosis, 
I have to be super freaking careful with what exercises I do and my like risk of injury is super high so there's times where I just can't even consider doing a compound movement for the life of me for like weeks on end. So what I personally like to do, just me, this is me with my back pain, I love the Smith machine. It helps to stabilize the weight, I'm not bearing free weight on my back, I feel like it allows me to just isolate my muscles better, uh, work on hypertrophy a little bit better without trying to sit here and focus so much on trying to keep stable because it's the stabilizer muscles around my spine that are what kind of irks me and gives me that lower back pain. So for me, this is where my scoliosis, my back pain is right on my right lower spine right here. I used to be bedridden for weeks, but now that I'm consistently working out for the past like, what, seven years I've been consistently working out and luckily I haven't been bedridden. So exercise has definitely helped me, so don't get it twisted. But nevertheless, I still gotta be super careful. Again, guys, this routine is just what works for me. Everybody's different, everybody's got different forms of lower back pain, or whatever you got going on. So by all means, it's just what works for me. You gotta consult your own doctor to see what's best for you. Instead of doing a traditional squat, I actually prefer sumo squats because the wide stance takes the pressure off of my lower back. So for me, whenever it comes to squatting, nine out of 10 times, I have a wide sumo squat stance. It is just what helps me out a little bit, okay? You can even have a super sumo like this, work in your inner thighs real well. I kind of just have it more of a relaxed sumo rather than a regular squat, which is like this. I'll be a little more like this. Feet pointed outward, driving up through your heels. This just takes all the pressure off my lower back Helps my core to just keep the stability that it needs. This is what works for me. You will never see me going crazy heavy with squatting or any compound movements, ever. I am coming to terms with my body. I am limited with what I'm able to do. I have to just accept that. And if you're somebody dealing with the same type of thing, it's okay to accept. It's nice to challenge yourself from time to time, but when you have certain impairments that keep you from doing what you want to be doing, you just kind of have to kind of accept it and just work around with what you got and what you can do. So believe me, when you see these gals lifting heavy on Instagram, I can't do that either. <laughs> okay guys, so next I like to do RDLs. I never actually perform regular straight leg deadlifts because it does nothing but pull on my lower spine. No matter how perfect my form is, it just pulls on that shiz. This, you kind of sit more back. You pop your booty out a little bit, knees are bent. This helps to just kind of isolate the hamstrings a little bit. This is the range that I go with. Right up to here and back down. I don't actually go fully all the way down and up, you can, but I like to just kind of isolate the hamstrings a little better and that really delivers that time under tension to the hamstrings, it'll burn that shit right up. One thing you gotta know is you must trust in the hip thrust. Best thing I ever did for my glutes, hands down, is hip thrust. Before the Smith machine, I was actually having Bay like hoist up a barbell with plates onto my hips so that I can like thrust it out. I have a problem. When it comes to my low back, I cannot for the life of me be on a bench like this. I can't get myself to hoist it up and then thrust from down here. I can't do that with my low back. So Bay used to have to help me and like place the weight on my hips. But thank God for the Smith machine. <laughs> Smith machine hip thrusts allow me to kind of 
pulse it out. I don't go all the way down. Again, like I said before, it hurts really bad. So I kind of pulse it out. And I like it because it's stable weight, nothing's flopping on me, super stable. And then when I'm done, you just click it back up. This has been the best thing for my hip thrusts. So yeah, I really love the hip thrusts. <laughs> All right guys, time to hit some quads, some quadriceps. Okay, so I love doing front loaded squats. They're really good for isolating your quads, especially if you don't have a leg extension machine, which I don't have one yet, but soon. My preferred method to protect my lower back is to use the V-bar on a cable machine. I love it because the point of tension is in the middle rather than on the sides. So you don't have the weight coming from here, when you're bending down, kind of like, uh, it's more centralized. It aligns with my core, so it kind of just allows me to really mm, keep things nice and straight, my back nice and straight, so it's not a little, got that wonkiness to it. God damn, ma'am. Oh, glutes are slowly growing, you guys. Slowly but surely, it's those freaking hip thrusts. Gotta trust that hip thrust, man. I'll tell you that much. All right, guys. So that was it. Those are my few of my staple leg day exercises that I like to do. Modifications for my bad lower back. It's bad. It's real bad. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Definitely subscribe because I have more videos coming just like this. I'll take you through normal vlogs of our everyday workouts, lower body, upper body, core, you name it. Everything's coming your way soon. Do it all, baby. All of it. Because why? Because together, we got this. That's right, baby. I love you all so much, and I will catch you in my next video.